at a stadium that has the number four plastered all about it on the North Star badge for the number of North Star Cups that this club has won as league champions. Atletico Ottawa will also have to watch Forge lift the CPL shield after the final whistles. Let's introduce the teams and begin with Forge, who made a late change to their starting 11. Just about five minutes ago, we were told that Benny Badibanga, who was supposed to start as the attacking right winger, has been dropped to the bench. David Chouinier replaces him. Sam Salter replaces the league's golden boot leader, Ruben Del Campo, at the number nine. Also of note, Balu Tabla and Ali Bassett starting beside each other. Jensen a turnover, but Tabla can't punish him for it. The Wobby Bellu has a second turnover in these first 13 minutes. Salter gets his shot away, but Kalela was there to make the first stop of the ball game. It'll be an Ottawa corner. Just forwards, a little bit sloppy at the back. Salter reads it ever so well. Bassett with six goal contributions this season. Looking to open the scoring here, and he puts it on a plate for Aparicio. An emphatic header on the doorstep. And for Manu, who's been asked to play more as a six this year, defensive midfielder, he somehow has another headed goal. Jimmy, I remind you, he is kindly five foot six. What a great finish that was. Ball whipped in perfectly from Bassett. And the thing is, you're right, with Manny Aparicio, a lot of people don't realize, for a smaller player, the height he gets. Well, that's the, the, the manager's got to keep having the trust in them and the belief. And when you do have a, a lot of good players that all come together, you've got to make sure that... Bassett's denied, Salter following up, and then Bassett puts it over for a goal kick. it now, looking into the box again, it's Aparicio, who should have made it 2-0. I don't know how he hasn't. <laughs> also, the league and CBC deserve a ton of plaudits, despite my sass for getting a larger audience available to the most important match of the season. Can't wait for it. November the 9th. Will it be Hamilton? Will it be Ottawa? Will it be Calgary? How about this? Nearly another. And the rebound not dealt with. Amir Denich stabs it in, and Sam Salter takes care of the rebound. It's Atletico Ottawa who's come into Tim Hortons Fields and have had all the joy for the last 35 minutes. The service from out wide has been magnificent. And it's two goals in the first half for the visitors. Bringing out the Boo Birds. We haven't heard those much in Hamilton this season. Again, it's about the delivery. Ottawa really have been putting terrific balls into the box. You can see Didich raising his hand. And now Abu Sissoko leading Ottawa with numbers. They want a third before halftime. Bassett from Tabla. Back to Tabla. One more for Bassett on his right. Finds Tabla again outside of his foot looking for a wonder goal. But they do, they've got some swagger about them right now, the way that they're playing, Ottawa. Hajabapur late to the tackle, he's booked and he'll be suspended for the trip to Langford. He was just warned a few minutes ago by the referee, watch your timing. He was late again and he's the first man in the referee's notebook this afternoon. Yeah, the referee had to, he's had a number of fouls now. Here's Tinich with a howitzer that hits the post. 90 seconds before first half stoppage time, likely to see at least a few minutes added. Jabapur makes a nice run towards the end line, rounds the corner on Delamo. Great footwork, finds Becker, takes it on first time. Hitching closer to the box, Jensen back to the wing once more. It's a nice little spell this from Forge. Jensen with an opening. Jensen. Hamilton a header and it goes off the woodwork. From a standstill, Hamilton changes the angle on Nate Ingham. Oh, 
Salter and Samuel. Nice recovery from the Forge wing back as Jabberpore doesn't make a play at the ball. Jumps into Sam Salter. More pushing and shoving reminds you that Hijabapur is on a yellow, which means it's turned into a red. And things just went from bad to worse. He was already going to be out for accumulation. Now he'll sit for a second yellow, and we wonder if Daniel Parr will be joining him. Salter gets under his skin. Hijabapur late to a few different challenges. Now Kyle Becker says, what about Matteo de Brienne 45 seconds ago? And the arguments will begin. Hijabapur, though, in the meantime, escorted to the Forge changing room. Pass it looks styled, and imagine it's his, unless Del Campo tries to sneak one on the Forge keeper. That's what he'll do. It dips at the end. Bobbles. Here's Ruben Del Campo looking for goal number 12 or a setup. Iliadis has somehow missed the net. Players scored a couple of Olympicos this year on the doorstep, just like Aparicio was. Slide from Schiavone, collected by Sissoko. He'll dribble around Nana and Poma, and the three minutes are up. It's up to the referee now how much she'll add on from here. The answer is none. A resounding and convincing victory for Atletico Ottawa as they blank the champs of the regular season with one of their best performances of the entire season. And last but certainly not least, the players led by an unbelievable captain, Kyle Becker. Congratulations. This is based on a body of work, not a single game. From April through November, these guys have been an incredible, incredible job. Congrats.